Hello. So with the recent release of season eight, I've been looking into the condition of the tapes that exist for Pertweet's season of Doctor Who. And um, because I was looking at quality in regards to the season eight box set um, and re see what kind of tapes existed and whether the original master tapes actually existed. So if you're interested in it, like I was, let's have a look and see what actually exists in the archive in regards to Pertweet's Doctor Who. Now I found this fantastic website called The Destruction of Time and it was going to tell you about all the Pertwee episodes and what exists and the conversion process. So if you're really interested in this you should have a look. But also it's got lots of other stuff you can look at as well. Um, what tally snaps, where what existed, where the prints are, um, like the missing episodes for Patrick Trout and, John, and uh, William Hartnell episodes. So you could go around missing prints but we're looking at colour today. And it's really interesting, you can read this article, it goes through the tapes and it tells you the different kinds of um, conversion processes. So we have the original format, so this is the original colour tapes. And this is what we're looking for in this video, for what is going to, when you convert these, they're going to be more crisp and better high quality. So most of the box sets we've had so far, the original format exists. So the original master color tape or a color tape exists. So that gives us a good quality conversion of HD. Then we get to the different color restorations. Now we have this color restoration here, which is about lifting the signal and changing it. Now this color restoration is used for Terror of the Autons it doesn't look very good. Um, a mixture of the NTSC and the PAL recordings, it doesn't look very good, especially with the HD conversion. Um, you do get like lines on it and stuff, which isn't very good. Then we have the reverse standard conversion. So this is where we're converting from, NT, from the American tape back to PAL. This was used for a few of them. Then we have color restoration. So this is using the, the, the reverse standard processing conversion that we saw before and mixing it with a bit of color recovery as well. Um, I think they said in the booklet, it says about the color tapes from America are really bad quality and they're mixed with the high quality black and white prints. Um, so that's maybe why the color is not so good. Then we have reverse standard conversion which is using the reverse standard, so reversing the quality back um, to PAL and using the Chroma Dot Recovery. And then we have the Chroma Dot Recovery, which is the wonderful new system that they've um, recently discovered where they found the Chroma Dots and little bits of color in the black and white print and then using the computer to recolorize them. So that's really good. And then Mind of Evil and um, Mind of Evil, and I think, the uh, invasion of the dinosaurs were recolored manually by the wonderful Babel color. So now we look at the prints and we can see what actually exists in the archive. Now we can see Spearheads on Space, of course, that is a full HD wonderful print. So that exists in, uh, in full color. Um, so they have the tapes. The Silurians has, you know, you can see from the DVD, it's quite shit quality. And um, this is the color restoration process. Um, that's not going to look very good in HD, I don't think. It barely looks good on DVD, so I doubt that's going to look good on on, on, um, on Blu-ray at all. And Bastards of Death, we have a colour tape. Hooray! So that's going to look good quality. But then we're going to go into... But it does use the Chroma Dot Recovery process, so this might look a bit nicer. Um, but then it does have one colour. Why is that episode, one episode there? Why is that just colour restoration, not Chroma Dot? I don't know. Maybe there wasn't any chroma dots. So that might look good, might not do. But then for season eight, there was actually chroma. Oh, maybe there wasn't any chroma dots. Anyway, um, Inferno reverse standard conversion for all those episodes. So that might look good. But then Claws of Axos used reverse standard conversion. That didn't look particularly good in... Um, in HD. 
Then we go to Terror of the Autons, colour restoration. It didn't look very good in Blu-ray. Uh, I can say that. It looked okay, but the studio stuff looked really good. And the film stuff didn't look very nice. Um, I don't know how they converted it to HD. Um, Mind of Evil, it looked okay. So this used the chroma dots. It looked okay, but, you know, it wasn't as crisp as it could could be. Like, it's not as crisp as if you had the master tape. Um, it still looked a bit off. You know, the colour was... It wasn't, you know, wasn't the best. But then when you go down to Claws of Axos, the, we do have the original master tape that exists there. And that episode looked quite good on Blu-ray. But then after... If you're watching it as you would watch it all in one go you would then have episode one master tape then you go episode two and you definitely notice the quality difference between episode one and episode two episode two the quality plummets completely from full like kind of hd master tape then plummets down to um something which was really low quality and so that wasn't very good. And then we jump back into the last episode because the master tape actually exists and it's really quite good quality. Um, so all these conversions, and it, it is fantastic we have them in colour. And the technology to do this is absolutely brilliant and fantastic. But for HD upscaling, it doesn't particularly work very well. Um, and it's fantastic we have them in colour. So don't, don't, don't get me there saying that I don't, it's not, a massive achievement because it is a massive achievement i'm just saying that in regards to hd it's not as good quality you know now i haven't watched colony in space or the demons yet but if we're going by the standards here if reverse standard 2 is meant to be better than reverse standard 1 i don't know but looking at the trailer it looked quite good quality so we might have good quality here but we've got no master prints the demons we have color restoration now i remember that's not too good on the dvd um but we do have one master tape so that's going to look crisp in hd but this has been recolored specially for the blu-ray release so we'll have to see uh what that looks like um going down day of the daleks so would season nine be a good box set to um to uh, actually do and it has most of these have the reverse standard conversion in regards to the other conversions i would say that only episodes that have the master tapes are going to be looking good in hd so we have the day of the daleks that's going to look fantastic in hd um so that's that's a good hopefully they do the special edition there in blue for hd then we have reverse standard conversions for the the whole of curse of peladon um watching the dvd i don't think the quality is going to be very good in there but they, the person who's redoing the Blu-rays did say there was a film element for the Curse of Peladon that they had and that they were going to use. Uh, sea Devils, we have um, a few master tapes. So that's going to look, the end of the Sea Devils is going to look quite crisp. Um, and the end of the Mutants is going to look quite crisp as well because we have the PAL master tapes. Uh, but the reverse standard conversion at the beginning, the Time Monster, you know, we know that doesn't look particularly well. Um, and the last episode is colour restoration instead of the reverse standard. Then episode season 10, which we already have on Blu-ray, all the master tapes exist apart from this episode here, which is the Planet of the Daleks episode 3. Um, so all the master tapes exist. So we know we've watched that. It is good quality. Um, season 11, if they did that, it would be fantastic good quality because they have all the master tapes. So... Uh, I would have said that it would have better been better if they wanted to do a John Pertwee, it would have been better to do season 11 because all the master tapes existed. And season 9 and season 8, the tapes, there isn't many um, tapes existing. Out of 8 and 9, I think 9 is probably better because it has more coloured tapes existing, so that would be a better HD conversion. But season eight doesn't have has three tapes out of how many episodes you know anyway that's a look at the uh, that's the look at the what exists and the tapes and whatever not in the thing and what would look better in a 
so I think season 11 definitely would look fantastic in HD um, you know I believe in having the best quality product we can have you know I love Doctor Who with a passion and it is amazing that we have these episodes in colour and I would rather them have them in colour than have them black and white but it's just you know the quality you want the best picture you can have like I, I just don't want them to like either find them the master tapes of the color master tapes for season eight and or there's a better conversion process and they go oh we're we, we, we're re-releasing season eight and you have to pay another 45 pounds because that would annoy me you know i'd rather they have done season 11 with the, all the color tapes and then release season eight when a better conversion process would have happened anyway Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed watching this video uh, and I will see you goodbye.